Well, let's hope everything's working well today. Well, I didn't check the centre of that. Wait a minute. A little bit off, but not too bad. Let me just put something there. I can't see. I haven't even done that, have I? Hang on, I've got to position my camera out of the way, Bob. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even check that. Uh, let me see. You've got to go that way. Then that's got to go that way. That's going to be good enough for all intents and purposes. Have I got sound? Yes, I've got sound. Oh, things are looking up. Ah, oh, good. Oh, Bob, I wish you'd put the bowl away when you're finished. I really do. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm Steve. Hey, this is Woodworking Masterclass. And today, yeah, we're going to do some woodwork. Because... I fixed my compressor, I'm impressed. Look, look. I've got air. Oh, I'll tell you the story about it in a tick. But it's all good. Everything's working the way it should. I've got my glue pot on. I've got something in the lathe. Just wait for Max to turn up. And there we go. Who have we got in the room? Oh, anyway, I'm Steve. Hey, this is work, Woodworking Masterclass, and I believe it's 54 days straight. Oh, I don't know if it's a record, but it is for me. Hey, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, people. G'day, T. Hey, t -Bone, mate. I want one of those, Daryl. I really do. I reckon that would be marvellous. T-Bone sent me a link, and he said I should have one. And there's this guy in the sander. And he's got a box next to him with a lever that's chin operated. And when he goes like that, a biscuit comes down and goes in his mouth and he's still working. I, uh, mm, gotta, gotta have me one of those. And, and I watched it for 10 minutes and he never read any biscuits. Didn't get much of the sanding done either, just by the way. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. That gave me a big smile. So two thumbs up to you both. Enjoyed that. John, good morning, or is that Yvonne? Well, good morning either, either. Hey, Penella, how are you? Tempers Brewer, g'day. Wombat, hi, Jared. Ray, g'day, how are you? Max, oh, you're in. A very good morning to you. And he was in. He was in. How do, you, how do you know Bob's been in the house? I'll show you. That's when you can tell Bob's, <laughs> Bob's been in the shop. This is all gone. Nothing left. He finished his antibiotics today, so we're just going to hold our breath and see what happens. But he, he seems pretty good. He's happy. Uh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Good day, Andy. <whistles> Brian, good morning. Oh, yeah, you're holding. And you're holding. You're not getting promoted that much. Your Highness. Ah. Uh. What did you do, Ray? So now today I had to ring the store if the next size up so I could drive down and exchange it. Well, why don't they let you fit it on? Why don't you try it on? Ah. Oh. Dear, oh dear. Oh, don't, Max, you're there. How can it be a miserable day in Hillsville if you're there? I reckon the sun shines would be beaming out of the roof of your house. Oh. But a boom. Spandex. Where's spandex? Fits everything. One size fits all. I wasn't reading all the comments, but that'd be my answer. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Terry, good morning. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And, and look, the compressor parts, oh, I tell you what, I had a win there. I diligently went up and said, 
here you go, do you have this? And he said, oh, that's not one of ours. And I had a photograph of it. I said, excuse me, Air Mac, Puma, one of yours. He said, when did you buy it? I said, oh, uh, 1989, I think. And he looked at me and said, are you serious? Anyway, they didn't have the parts. They didn't have the parts. So I went, oh, he tried to sell me a new compressor for $899, which wasn't um, as good as this one here, or the one to complement that one was about 1300 I think, because I, I want one with a larger displacement, that way it doesn't rev its guts out, and they drive you nuts. Um, I prefer a slow, like that. Anyway, I came back and I thought, oh, well, I might as well fix it. So um, the pins that the reed valve or flap valve sit on were hard and steel, so I went up to blacksmith and shop and give her a nudge on the anvil. No, 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 didn't work. So I thought, well, there's no pressure on it. There's hardly any heat. There you go. Half a tube of super glue. Put the um, spring cover cap on. Held it down for a couple of minutes. Didn't come off. Flapped on it. A little bit stiffer than it was before, but yeah, that'd be right. Didn't have, didn't have the gasket because they so mate, I told you. <laughs> there you go. Kellogg's complex packet. That's what I made the gasket out of and put it together. So in total, it cost me, hang on, where's my phone? I shall tell you the sum total. What do you get? You get eight. Okay, cost me 15 cents. Half a, half a tube of super glue which was 25 cents a tube, and a bit of a Kenneth Cornflakes packet, and maybe half a day, and I'll, I'll, here we go. We'll run it down so it kicks in. It's not gonna kick in, is it? My goodness, that carries some air. Where, where is it? Oh. Should be now. Come on, there you go. Now, now you gotta wait until it stops. <laughs> Is that nearly stopped? Nearly there. At 100 psi, stops at 125. <laughs> 110. 115. 120. There you go. How's that? Calibrated eyeballs. E earplugs. So yeah, great, great afternoon. And I stripped it down. I didn't take the other piston out because I knew that was all right. But to do something like that, yeah, sure, it took half a day. Stripped it down. It's good for it. That's 30 years old, that compressor. I put one set of rings in it maybe 15 years ago. Or it could be 20 years ago, but it didn't really need it. But I stripped it down. Um, and that's it. It's good as gold. It will work, it will outdo me, I think. So very, very happy. So if something's broken and it's not working, instead of throwing it away or taking it somewhere, have a crack yourself and fix it. It's not that hard. There's, you know, there's, what the heck happened there? That's, <laughs> uh, that's good value, isn't it? Look at that. I just pushed down on the, I just put that, which is it? There you go. I just put the tin on and, the lid fell from together. That'll be a job for something later on. Anyway, we'll do a little bit more of that a little bit later on. Um, I might give that a spray. Amazing, amazing what you find when you had a clean up. I mean, the, the biggest part of that job for me was getting all that rubbish off the bench and dragging it out. And you reckon I haven't got a saw back, putting the bag in there. But look what I found. I was working on these ages ago 
And I'd forgotten all about them, so we might visit that one of these days. Wooden hinges. I haven't put the pins in that one, but yeah, little wooden box hinges. And they're done on the um, they're done on the table saw. So they look quite nice because you can make them out of whatever you're making the box out of. Anyway, um, what else did I? Oh, I found a a plinth for a box. A box, so we might put that together. Don't need that gasket anymore. And pull this one out of the oh, vacuum press. It's it's pretty good. It's come up well, so we can put some more uh, veneer on that one. And I'm going to finish turning the bed posts. Get those out of the way. Oh, somebody sent me a. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. Somebody sent me a message the other day because I. <clears throat> Was concerned. What's that guy? That one. Um, that my there you go. That my um, new stove top from the glue wasn't accurate, so I put a <whistles> heat gun on it, and someone said, "Oh, they're not very accurate either." So yeah, I bought, I bought two down. So let's just. I'll get back into the chat in a minute. Let's just see how accurate this is. All right, can you, and if you can you see the back of that? No, you can't. Wait a minute, we'll move. There you go. We'll move that in there. There you are, you can see that. Okay. You're going to have to trust me on this because I can't see. Okay, that's 66, 67, 66, 67. That's pretty good there. Now, that one, I think, goes up to 600 degrees. This one goes up to 1,300 degrees, so we'll try this. There you go. Look at that. See, that's close enough for me. And yet, that plate... It's set on 60 degrees. So go figure. <laughs> the, the plate says 60 degrees, and what's on the plate is hotter, and it should be, is that word again, should? It should be a lot cooler because the, um, the heat is going through a cast iron pot. It's then going through water. And then it's going through another cast iron pot to heat the glue. So one would, one would, uh, if that was 60 degrees, it should be about 48 degrees in the glue. But it's not. So anyway, I'm happy. I'm going to keep that at 60 degrees. And that's what it says. The glue is nice. It's coming in, whatever we said, just below 60. With high glue, I'm happy. I like to keep it around the 70, but I'm happy if it's between... 50 and 80 degrees, it's okay. All right, so Terry, thank you for that. I, I, I can move on now. G'day, Mark, how you going, mate? Oh, looking forward to this stream. I'm looking forward to them too, Mark, because I want to see what I'm going to do, because I've got no idea. They tell me restrictions are being lifted, Brian, in Sydney. Is that right, on Friday? Oh, what, uh, sorry, not lifted, what do they call it? Relaxed, yes, relaxed. Hi, Brenda. Um, Stanley, good morning. Mike, g'day. CS, ahoy, me hardies and shipmates. How you going? Um, ben. How are you going? We're all going well. We're going well. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday was a horrid day. Well, no, well, that's not true. Actually, at the end of the day, I said to Sue, what a satisfying day it's been. I was very, very tired because I didn't get any sleep the night. Well, I got very little sleep the night before. Um, no apparent reason, I don't think. It was just one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. Uh, but to get that compressor out sorted, fixed, and clean up behind me. And look, I mean, just 
stand back and be amazed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you saw it the other day. <laughs> Check that out. All right, look at that. I can walk up and down. That. Look, look, I just can't believe how clean that is. And, and behind the bench as well. It's just me think it amazing. So, there you, so I'm mostly in a better mood now because I've got a bit of space. I'm not going to show you over there because that's still a bit of a schmozzle. Well, all right, I will just to prove the point. Okay, that's, that's still a schmozzle. That's a bit of a schmozzle. And, but we're getting there. We're getting there, which is the main thing. <clears throat> but, yeah, to get that compressor fixed and know that there's no issues with it, plus saved about a 1000 bucks because I had emotionally committed to getting a new compressor. Ah, so it's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> Hi, Ian. Oh, took a big jump then. Hi, Ian. Where are we? Where is... Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum. That did take a huge jump. Let me get back up. Where we? Ian had just come in. Oh, I just seen. Ah, -dum -ba -dum -bum. I do wish it wouldn't do that. Do those big jumps. Okay, getting back to where it was, I think. Hi, Ian. Yes, gotcha. Tempest Impress compressors say that five times fast. No. <laughs> uh, I got air and I'm cleaner. Look at this. Look, at, look, look. I'm so excited. Look, I can... Get out of there, you dog wally. Look, I can, I can see my TV screen. For the first time. Oh, hey, oh, that's that's freaky. Look at that. Do 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 do. Oh, I like that. <laughs> but I can see my TV screen and it hasn't got clutter and rubbish all over it. Absolutely spectacular. So very, very happy. Wolfie, good day, mate. How are ya? Um uh, Oh, you are just the nicest, nicest queen to ever have, Prinella. 54 days of pure awesomeness. I'm going to have a big sleep when it's over. <laughs> Not the big sleep, but a sleep. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, don't know, uh, Mark, he's last day of his antibiotics today. It's still, it's gone right down. It's still a bit of an open wound, so we've got to see. We've got to see. We'll monitor it. We'll monitor it. Randy, good day. Hope, hope you're feeling good and you can stay awake for a little bit, but we understand you've got to have a snooze. Woodworking for a change. Andy, you are cruel, um, but, but in the nicest possible way. <laughs> hey, Steve, hey. <coughs> Uh, go, Tony, good day, uh, good day, good day, good day. Oh, thank you so much for that. Yeah, well, yesterday I felt a little bit rude, but what could I do? Ah, oh, bum ba dum bum ba dum. Devon, good morning to you. Good morning, Louise. <clears throat> Tom, good day. Oh, but much you got no idea how pleased I am. I fixed it. I'm just. I, it's just, it's got, it got worse and worse, and I'm not going to say that's made me tidier, but it's so nice. I vacuum a lot around the saw tables and that, but sometimes you just got to blow it clean, and if you don't have the compressor, oh, not good. <laughs> Thanks, T-Bone. Immediately you thought of me, that's the biscuit dispenser. I'm 20 minutes behind at the moment because I'm at 12.10. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate that. Uh. Well, I hope you I hope you can forget about what's happening around you, Tony, and relax. What am I doing today? I like that. I'm going to be doing box tops, a box stand, 
turning the last two wood posts and fixing my workshop chair. They certainly do, Ray. They certainly do. That's good to hear, Yvonne. Thanks for that. Yep, that's it. Smack it out with a hammer. I, yeah, they're calibrated ears. I can hear kids fighting two kilometres away, especially if they're my kids. Oh, that one's, that one's noisy compared to the one I got up in the shed. <coughs> there you go, right? Everyone's fixing things. Oh, I'm catching up now, 10.20. Julian, good morning. Delta, get on, mate. How you going, Tango? Oh, I haven't, I haven't had you in there for a while. Oh, well, happy to have you. And Earl, good, whatever. Good evening to you too. Oh, crikey, me arm. Oh. And then I did a silly thing. Steve-O, Wes, hey, Wes, have you got that email? Oh, I don't, I'm, I'm hoping Susie sent it. I'll double check. But it's all good, mate, all on its way. I haven't done that other thing yet because I haven't had time to scratch myself. But I haven't taken the other stuff out, so it's all still sitting there. But get it done very soon. Thanks, mate. Um, it took another one, didn't it? Thanks, Wes, you too. And Ange, Ange, if you're watching. Doby, good morning. G'day, how are ya? Yeah, no, well, what do you want me to do? What do you want to do? Stream? Do you want me to stream? You want me to clean? Stream or clean? You take your pick. <laughs> I know what I'd prefer to do, and I'll give you a hint it's not clean. How many clamps do you use on a project? Oh, as few as possible or as many as I need. It all depends, Mike, it all depends. Um, look, I have had this many, oh no, let's tell them the like, cause it, oh, I'll leave those. There's about another three or four there. All right, see those clamps? <coughs> there. There might be three or four missing and they're the clamps I've got hanging up on the wall. Mate, that is it. That is, oh, and I've got some uh, little G clamps over here that I use sometimes. But that's it. You know, I've been in people's workshops and they've got hundreds, bars and bars, racks and racks of clamps. You don't really need that many. I think it's, a, it's, it's like the, um, is it the Peter Principle? No, Parkinson's, Parkinson's Law. The time of the job to complete will expand to the time allotted. In other words, if I've got 50 clamps, I'll use 50 clamps. If I've got 10 clamps, I'll use 10 clamps. I find the less clamps you use, the better. It's easier. Steve, uh, you use Timbermaid for grain filler. Yes, Paul, and it's good stuff. Just water it down and, uh, yeah, it's awesome. The, the, the thing to do before you do use it, if, if you're going to go clear, wet your timber first so you can get the right colour when you're blending the timber, mate, together. And then just water it down to a slurry, put it in, good as gold. Because you don't want to match it when it's dry because it's going to be a lot lighter than what it's going to be when you put a coat on it. But this is what I do. If I'm going to stain the job... Um, Van Dyke crystals or liming white or whatever. I won't, no, not liming white, I wouldn't. If I'm going to stain the job, I'll just put the timber, mate. I'm missing a few, they must be out in the other shed. I do the colour that I use the least, I use that to grain fill because I'm going to stain it anyway and it won't matter. 
That way you utilise utilize all your stuff. But that's great stuff, Timber, mate. It really is. <laughs> you reckon, Jeff, if I paint everything to look like a cream bun, it'll get cleaned up? <clears throat> Eddie, good day, mate. Pleased you jumped in. Make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trust. I, I clean mine when I keep on tripping over things and breaking things. Randy, oh, I'm like you, Steve. I have some nights when I can't sleep. Unless I can't stay past. Yeah, I, I, I love it when I'm good tired. Good tired is good. It doesn't always happen. And when you think, oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight, and you stay awake to see if you actually do and you don't. Uh, not good. Not good. Had to reorder my high glue pot. Why? What happened, Wes? Didn't turn up. Oh, that's oh, you're getting the electric one. Cool. Oh, good day, Trevor. Oh, there was a there was a post on Facebook, Trevor, and I looked at it and I thought, oh, I should send that to Trevor, and looked up, no, you were the one that posted it. I was reading your wife's horoscope. <laughs> it said, every morning I get up and read my wife's horoscope to find out what sort of day I'm going to have. <laughs> okay, now we're getting down to the business end. I'm nearly there. Uh, Randy, uh, got a new Easy Lab Diamond. Five pieces, good, you'll enjoy that. They are good. Yeah, I, that's what I used to brighten my router bits on the Easy Labs. No, just a regular, regular one, Wes. Um, I think that the only difference is there's a lighter one that luthiers use, which is a slightly higher grade. But look, I've built hundreds of bits of furniture just using the regular stuff, and it's all good. mentioned that I had a friend around the other day and in front of the wood turning workshop I've got guttering for when the storm water comes down and there's one piece and I just wouldn't fit in. I, I don't trip over it because I know it's there but everyone else comes and trips over it. Anyway, John spent a good hour trying to fit it and then he said, this is a different size. I said, oh yeah, I bought it from two different places. <laughs> Went out into the yard, picked up the grape from one of the good, fit it straight in. There you go, it's all good. Uh, no, it takes the fun out of it, Davey. Don't read instructions. Uh, okay, that's it, let's get into it. What am I gonna do first? I don't know. Uh, actually, I might, I might have a look at my chair because I, I use that more than anything else. Oh dear. This, uh. oh dear. This chair I got from, oh no, I left my screwdriver going up at the Hacienda. I got from Goodwill Shop, or in Australia we call it Vinnie's, the Vincent de Paul Society, cost me a dollar fifty, fifteen years ago. And it's a ripper, I love it. But. The seat's just gone a bit Willy Wonka on me. So I'm just going to have a look and see if I can fix it. And if I can't, well, I will. No, no can't about it. I, I'm not sure. I think the um, plywood might have gone in the swab. 
So isn't that isn't that a ripper? That's absolute pearl of that. A dollar fifty. <laughs> it had a dollar fifty on it. The dear old lady behind the counter, she says, "Oh, well, if that's too dear, make me an offer." <laughs> it's a dollar fifty for crying out loud. Actually, I don't think that needs very much at all. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I, 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 I'm just going to put another bit of plywood on the bottom of that and glue it on and screw it on and it should be good as gold. Good as gold, Noddy. What have I got here? This might do. How about this bit? Yeah, that'll do. Let me just make a little bit of... See? The, me the mess has started already. Transferring from bench to bench. And this, boys and girls, is how the mess starts. Ba ba dum bum bum ba da ba dum. Aha! Oh, help! Muddy ding ba da da dum. That's. I wonder what that. That's a set out for the glazing bars on the um, on the on the on the arts and crafts cabinet. So what's that? And that's what it is. Oh dear. Okie dokie. Now come in there. Oh, about that far. From the edge. <laughs> this is hardly fine furniture, so I'm not too worried about accuracy on it. I can find the... Yeah, that, was, that was quick, wasn't it? I, I could find... I, I found me jigsaw in a hurry. There we go. All dunsky. I hope I didn't buy that for a job. I can't remember if I did. Okay, let's go over to the bandsaw and we'll trim that down. Oh, nearly, nearly had an accident. Oh, dear. This early in the day, please. A little bit of uh, plywood <laughs> fell down the clearance hole.
that'll do. Knock the sharp edges off. Bum, ba -dum, bum. There we go. Where'd my swab go? Oh. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm excited now. I don't know if it will or not. Oh. Use my staple gun because I got air. Look at that. There you go. Happy days. It's amazing. Just little things like that you don't sort of remember you miss. It's <laughs> more than a dollar fifty's worth of glue on it. Look at that! Done! Oh, gotta love compressors. <laughs> ah, look at that! New seat, I'm impressed. Uh, I can hear you, yeah, I didn't take much to impress him. You're right, it doesn't. I just, I just amaze myself sometimes. Oh. Ba -da -ba -dum -bum. Uh, ba -ba -dum. I I just gotta go, I just gotta go and get my screwdriver gun. Because I left it up at the house. There you go, you know the routine. I'll be back in a tick. There you go, old fella. Hey. You and Tommy up? You're a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Beautiful butterfly.
I'm back. Oh, okay. Whoops. Get it in there. Is off to a great start. See what else I've got in here. Ah! Oh. Oh. These stitching screws. I'll do. When you're doing this to a seat, you don't, you don't want to have the screws too long. Because when you sit on them, you could get a nasty surprise. Try the seat out. Ah, oh, luxury. Oh, and I, I'm, I'm not getting any sharp pointy bits. You know where? Ah, oh, that, that's been that has been needed to be fixed for long time. Long, long time. But it don't. Oh, it's nice to sit on there and it doesn't fold over, too. Yeah, I have screwdrivers everywhere, too, Ray, but I can't find them all. I think I've got, I think, I've got four or five of these, but I, I just don't know where they are. I think I've got one in a box I haven't even opened yet. Steve, could you show me how to sharpen the rail a bit? I'll do that. around the other day, he said, he said, I like your streams, he said, because you whistle. I, I do not consciously whistle, it's just, if I'm not whistling, I'm not happy. But I'm, I'm happy, because of course it's good. It's good to be happy. I tried not being happy once, it's not fun. Oh, okay. All right, now. If I can find what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a diamond plate. So I should have one up here. I have got one up here. It's not the one I was looking for, but there you go. All right. Oh, dear. Um, bum, 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 bum. And I know what else I'm looking for, but I, I think, I think the diamond rods are actually up in the, um, um, up in the truck, which is in the front of the house at the moment. So I'm not going all the way up there. Oh, it's... 
But I can show you anyway. Um, you won't, if you've got a chip, if you've got a chip in the router bit, Ian, wasn't it? Ian, Ian, Ian. Yeah, if you've got a chip in the router bit, there's not much you can do with it. I just want to bring that back. There you go. But if they're in reasonably good nick, give them a good clean. Oh, we might go with that one. There you go. Give them a, <coughs> a good clean with uh, kerosene or something or other to get all the gunk off because a lot of the times they're not cutting and it's not because, we'll get back that way, it's not because they're not sharp, it's because they've got a lot of gunk on, especially if you're using, look after that, if you're using pine, pine will uh, put resin over it and it's like a plastic coating. So all you do, I use diamond stones because uh, I find they last a lot longer than the conventional whetstones and I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy to be proved wrong, but I don't think you would do really very well using a <coughs> water stone on tungsten. I'm, I'm happy to be proved wrong, but anyway. So all you do <coughs> is, go there. It's the inside edge you want to clean. You can see all that. Got a bit of a build-up of gunk there. The Easy Lap diamond files I use, they're about anywhere from $21 to $40. I generally use the purple one, which I think is medium, and it's got a really sharp edge on it. So with the sharp edge, I'm not going to do it with the carving chisel, but with a sharp edge, you just run that up there and you take all that, all that white muck there that's just a build-up of resin and gunk. So I might use, it's bright, I might use my Swiss Army chisel, and we'll do that. Notice I don't use my good chisels. Okay. Can you see all that stuff coming off? So you want to get rid of all that and clean up in there. And then if there is any on the outside edge, there's a bit of burnt stuff there, clean that up. You can go behind it. It's not really that bad. I'll tell you what you can use, um, oven cleaner. Oven cleaner, have I got some up there? We'll, we'll try it. I did have some up here. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Where did I, where did I put it? There we go, is that it? There you go, the little sucker was lying down. I'll get a, um, see if I can find a, a gunked up one. And we'll give it a go. All right, here's a big one. This is fairly gunked up. All right, that's, I don't know what that is, inch I suppose. So this is, uh, it's just a, it's a non horrible one, but it's not nice, but it's not one of those that stinks because it's caustic soda. I think it's water safe. So what we'll do, come over here. Okay, now we'll give it a shake and we'll just spray that. Okay, so that, that honestly doesn't smell that bad. We'll just put that here for the moment. It doesn't smell that bad. It doesn't smell nice. Does oh. <coughs> so once you've got it clean, That's good on saw blades too. Circular saw blades, give them a hit with that. 
leave them for a bit and then wash them off and they come up good. And then it's the inside edge you want to sharpen. This isn't the edge that gets sharpened, it's the inside edge. Once you start sharpening this, you actually decrease its width. So therefore, if you've got a 19 mil and you get it sharpened twice, you're going to end up with an 18 and a half mil. And when you use it, it's not going to do the job. Now what I do is hold, well, I'm going to move the camera, it's going to be much easier. Hold the bit steady, I've got my, well, we can do that through too. Yeah, okay. I've got my arm locked into my side and I'm holding that steady and then with it, this is a very fine one so you most likely won't notice it, but what I then do is move, not this, not the tool, I move the stone up and down, just like that. And you can actually see that black mark, that's where it's cleaning it up. And you actually, you can. You can see there's a silver edge starting to appear. I know it does have a nick in it there, but that's fine. But the silver edge is starting to appear. That means you're getting through to clean new metal. Oh, and you're doing the edge. If you do that quite often, you're not going to end up with really dull bits because what happens is like kitchen knives if you wait until you're putting you know 150 pound pressure on it to cut a tomato then you go and get it sharpened you've got a long way to go but if you just give it a tickle every night when you finish whether you strop it or whatever it uh, will stay sharp. So after you've been using these for a bit, you can feel it, that actually catches on your fingerprint and you know that's sharp. Uh, not quite the same on the back here, although that is digging into my thumb a little bit, which is good. So that's it. Hold it, move the stone up and down. If you go like this, what you tend to do, exaggerate it, but you'll roll You'll roll the tool as you're doing it. God, that's hard to do. This is where you need another camera operator, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, you'll roll the tool as you, just minutely. But if you hold that, lock it in the side of your body, go like that. Same thing when you come to round ones. <clears throat> I generally just touch a file off there just to get any burrs off. You've got to take these bearings off and then the same thing hold that on its side and just up and down like that that's the wrong side you idiot and that then will sharpen this inside face and this inside one is the one that cuts it's like dog clippers or anything like that people think oh how do you sharpen between the teeth you don't you sharpen the back and that puts a nice crisp surface for the teeth to then cut with. So I hope that helps. Hope that helps. What was that, Ian? Yeah, I hope that helps, Ian. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is too, Brian. So it's a backing board for something, I'm sure. Steve Rance puts, I do, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. When, you, when you're talking about a spiral bit, um, Randy, are you talking about a helix off a spiral cutter head for a thickness or a jointer, or are you talking about a drill type spiral? So I'll get to that. I'm at 10 to, I'm about 15 minutes behind at the moment. <clears throat> it's good to be happy, Max.
Oh, that's nice, Andy. Very cold of them. Good morning, Stephen. You've turned green. That's what happens when you stick with us. You colour change. G'day, Panda. Duncan, how you going, mate? Um, yeah, uh, I was looking and Bunnings did have those. This is for Duncan. Duncan, the nuts. Um, I had a look in Bunnings at Springfield. They had three sets of those Irwin chisels I mentioned for 49 bucks. You know, honestly, I, I played with the handles and felt them and they just... The, the, the steel might be okay, but the handles, they just leave me dead. I think they've got a horrible feel to them, a really cheap feel. But I know you sent me that email and you told me what you wanted to do. That is cool. If you still want those other chisels, let me know and I'll sharpen them up for you, mate. So, but yeah, I did see some at... They're uh, Irwin M, I think it's MS444. But I just did not like the feel of the handles. They were horrid. Uh, Julian, it's a bit, bit early in the morning to be sarcastic. <laughs> but, but you're right, that's, that's good. It is done, it's finished. Oh. Uh. Licorice, oh, I got some licorice the other day. Bob and I like licorice. Three drops finished in as many days. Yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? No, I'd get more done if I wasn't streaming, believe me, Ray. No, they were 12, 12 mil. 12 mil or 10 mil? No, 10 mil. So three eighths of an inch. So no, no. No prickles in the back of sinus. Yeah, that's if we, when we hit 60 days, we're going to start building the sewing shop. And I'm looking, at it's not too far away, is it? Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I think, but there won't be much interaction. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna make Sue stand there and read the chat. If I've got to work, she can get involved. Haven't worked out whether to I might I might do the floor first and then do the walls. It's gonna be easier, I think. Uh, I'm speaking of feel-good songs, Brunella, I was um listening to Chris Rea last night when I was putting the compressor and everything back. And he's got one, think I'll go fishing. And basically is, I'll never live up to anyone's expectations. I'll never do what they want me to do. I might as well go fishing. <laughs> I thought that's good. Uh, yeah, no, I got in the, I, I like that rolled up stuff, Trev. The, um, what do you do? What is it, a metre? Two metres for two bucks. Oh, it's nice. Oh, well, there you go. We've got to make sure the yellow bird is always singing, Max. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Prunella. It's good stuff. I don't like that red stuff. Can't get into the raspberry licorice. Give me the black stuff. <laughs> oh. Anthony, oh, we'll, we'll be here a bit longer today. I don't have to rush off to get parts that they didn't have, so I didn't need. <whistles> yeah, 
Not good, Trev. It's the, in all sincerity, prayers and thoughts are with you, mate. Oh, that was nice, Jeff. Oh, well, that's true. I've got a cousin up at Palmer. Originally, I've got a cousin who lives in, in the middle there somewhere. Is it Quebec? I don't know. I haven't spoken to her for years, but anyway. <whistles> what about the old woman's tooth, Devon? You want to know how to sharpen an old woman's tooth? You're, you're welcome, Ian. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it is too. I reckon it's a good anthem. A lot of people could identify with that, Prunella. Yeah, I can remember blackjack chewing gum. Is that the one that you used to get tattoos in? Um, elbow grease, steel wool, wet and dry and kerosene is what I would use, Tom. Oh, choo-choo bars, yeah, don't mind the old choo-choo bars. That's how you keep your kids quiet, give them a choo-choo bar. Okay. Oh, actually, what, what we used to do, Max, a friend and I, I used to live on the banks of a river. And we had a boat, and I used, to, I used to go out with a friend, and we'd go fishing, but we wouldn't put any bait on. We just wanted to sit there and be quiet. Okay, let's have a look. Look, have a look, look, look. That's been more than five minutes. I'm just going to wash that in some water. Oh! Ah! You can use running water if you like, but we won't do anything super. Super nice or tricky to it. I'm just, yeah, getting the, the sludge off. All right. Then I, and now I'm going to compress it. I'll blow it off with some air. There you go. Now, I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but have a butchers of that. How clean is that? <laughs> it's impressed me somewhat. So now it's five minutes with a bit of um, oven cleaner. Does a grand job, does. Does a grand job. All right, let's make Max's day and go and turn a bed post. Ah. Uh, Oh, the body dum boom. Ba dee dee dee. You right there, Max? It's all gonna it's all gonna happen. Oh Bada boom. Bada boom boom. Oh. I'm, oh, I'm walking over it. Oh, crunch, bang, wallop, walla, walla, bing, bang. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. If it's going to be all right. I'm going to have to bring it back that way a little bit. That's all right. We can do that. All right, that's it. Oh, I'm going to go. And it's going to be so nice when these are done because it's one step further forward doing good stuff. Oh, oh and what was that? Oh.
leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. That's it. I'll if put it that there. What did you fall over? I think I bumped something there. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's all right. Look, I fixed my chair. Wonderful. I'm, I'm impressed. So, Max, you got a reprieve because Susie's got a surprise visit. I thought you would have to go with your... Yeah, good. Yeah, get it all sorted. Yep. There you go. Look at I'm going, Sue, Sue, Sue. I thought the aliens had come and got you. Yeah, not quite. And then John O's like, no. she gone, ta -da's. So what you got for us, Gil? Well, seeing I'm giving everybody all the come, girl... Come, 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 All the girl Disney things. And Marvels. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no, which way will we go? No, 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 we'll go this way. No, no, this way, this way. And then we go this way, because we're not going to tell you. Okay, and then, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then we'll go this way, and then we swap hands. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You move away, move down that way. And I'll move back. This way, now you come in. And okay, what is it? Here we go, you ready? Ta da! Spider Man! My, what does it have on the bottom? Spider Man! Oh, there you go! The amazing Spider Man! The amazing Spider Man! How cool is that? Wait, and what's that? Is that a, a single bed or? Yeah, single no, bed. That's a single bit. Hang on, it's got a bit of web. <laughs> It's authentic, it's got real web on it. There you go. There you go. Well, we, I didn't expect you now. I didn't think you'd be back. Oh, hang on, do you want to do it the other way? I had to keep with me. <laughs> there you go, Brian. Brian said his granddaughters think he's marvellous, but he had them all day yesterday. So, mate, have them 24-7. So, here you go. Hey, Anthony turns 16 next week, didn't he? Tuesday. Tuesday. Ooh, what have you done to your leg? Or did you do that on the way in? Probably. Oh. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> now, come over here. What's everyone doing? Oh, oh look at this. They just got. Look, how, many, how many. We measure our popularity by the length, length of the chat room. I get, hi, Steve, how are you? She gets, scroll down. It's toz. Toz. Oh. Oh, he's come back down. <laughs> Max, you've got a reprieve. Ray says hi. Andy says hi. Spinella says hi. Yvonne says hi. Hi, Julian. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Brown. Hi. Morning, Sue from Louise. Brenda. Hi, Max. Mrs. Hay. Earl's hi. Panda's hi. No, I don't mean you're hi, Panda. I, panda means I said hi. Oh, that's just... Oh, you've got to be careful what you say now, don't you? Absolutely. Oh, I, I, look, compressor. Yes. Oh, my. No, it's on. I'm I, I, you're impressed with me, compress. So who said that earlier on? Got to say it three times, impressed with the compressor. Impressed with the compressor. And, 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 and <laughs> no, and I'll fix my seat. And I blew the screen off. Look, look, you haven't got dust on your face. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Um, oh, Trevor likes your jumper. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, I was going to say, take it off and give him a closer look, but don't. No, no, I just, because. Family show. There's, no, we'll just, we'll just... I have got a T-shirt on underneath. There you go. Did you make that one? No. Oh. No, I bought one. I bought one. Just like I bought one. Ian says hi. Jeff says hi. Ah, <gasps> Prunella goes, oh, Spidey-Man. <laughs> Wombat says hi. Andrew says hi. That's Louise Andrew. Andrew oh, okay. Because yeah. they're in separate rooms now. I don't know. I hope everything's all right, but they talk. They don't use the same chat anymore. Oh, you guys good? What's going on? Give me a ring. I want to know. <laughs> oh. oh, Andrew, my lady, is on. I'm happy now. There you made a day, mate. That's it. Oh, no, I won't have... You've gone red. I won't have to buy an apple turnover for you today. No. 
didn't tell them I got your apple turnover yesterday. Yeah, and what did I do? I scoffed the whole lot. Yeah, but no, I walked, walked up there. Walked to it, yeah. I did. And I found something interesting. Yes, no problem walking up there, but can you come and pick me up next time? <laughs> I had biscuits for the kids and cakes and buns and bread and oh. All sorts of stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was good. Uh, oh, Earl is a Spider-Man freak, I would say. Right. Definitely. Oh, uh, what's right? Um, <laughs> Ray says, the great thing about nieces and nephews is that you can look after them for a day, load them up with sugar, then give them back. Yeah, yeah and possibly take them shopping and buy a drum kit as well. That's always good value. Yep. Uh, and Jeff, Jeff likes it. It's, yeah, that's a hit, that one. Mm. Oh. Oh, we saw the early Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Our kids are in the Marvel and DC, yeah. aren't they? And the Green Book. And then they fight over it. Oh, no, DC's better than Marvel. No, Marvel's better than DC. I go, well, why don't you go to your room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. It jumps, it just loads up. <laughs> Devon, from the heart, mate. Appreciate that. Look, Steve, 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 hello. He's, he's trying to make up for all the hellos oh, okay. you get. There's a patch on your screen for two minutes, so I'll most likely get more then. <laughs> what you doing for the rest of the day? Well, I just got another <laughs> order for a, a bib. <laughs> make, don't make me call Grandma. You just finished a bit. No, I've got an no. order for one. Oh, really? Oh, well, that, you've got one made, haven't you? No, different colour. Oh, that'd be right. That's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> Andrew go, Louise goes, we're good. Andrew says, yeah, we're good, but my screen's bigger. <laughs> you hang in there, Andrew. Good. A win for the blokes. Uh, T-Bone. Fishing was well. The alligators wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> oh. Oh, you've got a Doctor Who, haven't you? You've got a TARDIS. Didn't you do I a Doctor do Who? I do have got a Doctor Who, yeah. Yeah, didn't you do a Doctor Who? Hasn't Noah got a Doctor Who on yes. his bed? Yes. Well, you have to flash out the Doctor Who tomorrow. Oh, I will. If you can get it off his bed. Either that or Mickey Mouse. Oh, see, even Daryl says, T-Bone says, hi, Sue. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm going, right. to, I'm going to go do some turning, All right. I think. Bye, everyone. Catch you later. You get, it's a save, aren't I? Tell us. Oh, oh, you always know you're in a good one when she goes like that. It's when it's a, you know, no, nah, it's not worth chasing. Speaking of chasing, I'm chasing her because I'm going to set the camera up. You just keep your hands to yourself. Would you behave? Just look. Just stop it. Just go and lie down. Have a rest. Good. Susan. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you love me. Oh, dear. Mm. Okay. Let's see where we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! That looks pretty good, I reckon. Oh, I might just knock it. No, that'll do. All right. <clears throat> She's off. She's off to see the wizard. Uh, okay, Max, let's go. It's got to happen. We've got to do it. Oh, I've got to do my top button up too, or else I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get shavings all the way down there, which is very, very unpleasant. Oh, I've got to go and get a mask too. Because I didn't bring my mask down with me. And I do much prefer having a mask with these big bits. Oh, here we go. Oh, stay. Show you a pink kiss look. How's that going? Eh, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Well, see, there you go.
Okay. Oh, here we go. Bum 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 bum. I wish this was slightly higher. That's not too bad. Getting close.
Just with that, that faithful one more go. That'll do. You hanging in there, Max? Is it alright? Last bit, and we'll sand it. a disaster then. Oh, I reckon that's good enough. It is good enough. My Steve Hay Patent and Dust Extraction System.
In case you're wondering what it is, it's two pieces of, um, oh, can't find me off button. It's two pieces of pipe, uh, sorry, uh, guttering, down pipe, turned upside down. So these normally go up that way turned upside down and just joined with bits of conduit down into the dust extractor. Now if you're only using half of it, you can blank half off and it'll give you more suck. But on this one, I need all of it. And this, it's got leading edges. You don't put the uh, paper just right up to that hard edge because it'll catch and rip your wrists off. Whereas if you've got these round, these leading bits, as it goes in, it touches that and then it'll feed into the jig. That's the theory. And because it's going that way, the sandpaper abrades here, throws it up, throws it up into here, which is an assist to the sucker. So if you look down here when I finish, there won't be any dust. You've got to hang on to it though. give you an idea of what it's going to look like without that on. So as you can see, it takes a lot of the dust away. there a little bit more not much I won't do the other one now, but I'll, I'll put it in and um, we might do a uh, the stand for a box. This is uh, the last one to do and I'll finish it off this afternoon. I'm thinking of you, Max. That's why I'm not going to do it, mate. Uh, 
And no, this definitely is, is nowhere close to the record lathe. But for a workhorse, it's a ripper. When these first came out, early 1990s, I think they were, the um, company shut down about 1996, but they were selling this lathe then in 1996 for $8,500. And it's one of those, it's an Australian made lathe. It's one of those that divided wood turners. Some love them, but the majority of them hate them because they're not conventional lathes. I love them. It, two people would be flat out trying to pick this up. That's a uh, half inch steel plate on the top and all the frame is all heavy gauge steel as well. It's called a Simtech. Came in two sizes, this 1.8 metre bed and a 1.2 metre one. There we go. All right. Let's just bring these in. I'll set this camera up first and then I'll bring these things in. <coughs> oh. So basically these is going to be a plinth that will sit on the end of the bed and then these will sit on top of the plinth and uh, get veneered, which at the moment is something I'm, I'm trying to work out how to do and I must admit, I'm not having a great deal of success, but I think I've come up with another way of doing them. So we'll see how we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's fun. What type of timber? Um, they're just plywood, mate. It's uh, oh, yeah. It's birch ply that I've laminated together in a lot of layers and then turned it. I was impressed, even Theo said, oh, that's hard. I felt good, I did something. I did something that was hard. Oh, it's the only way I could get it. And what I've done, and I'm gonna to have to do to these, I've got one more to do, is, oh, first of all, I covered them in New Guinea rosewood, which is this stuff here, which we'll do, I oh, might do tonight, or we'll do tomorrow. And then I'm trying to wrap ebony around about 40 bucks worth of ebony there that's wasted. Um, and then I want to wrap that all the way around so I can get the entire post rolled with ebony like that. And then when I do the hummingbirds, I can then inlay the hummingbirds and uh, any plants that I want to in to the ebony. And then I might, I don't know yet, I don't know whether I have a solid ebony hub here for these to sit into or I might just go for a uh, blush older one. Don't know, jewellery is out on that one. But hey, they're getting done. One more to go and that's, that's not the hardest part, but it's one of the biggest part. Oh, okay. Well, let me see. Let's go back 10. Oh, hard was definitely easier to turn. It behaves itself much nicer. <coughs> Oh, Jarrah turns really nicely. Yeah, Jarrah's great. <laughs> don't try that. What did I do the other day? That she-oak. Oh, I don't do this. That uh, she-oak up in the top shed to make that rolling pin for blue. Blue wren. Oh, no. I'll make another one out of coachwood, I think. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, yeah, Murray's all right, I guess. Cowrie's okay. Uh, is that Western Australian Cowrie or are you talking New Zealand Cowrie? There you go, Panda, Her Royal Highness, because she is queen of the moderators and rules over her domain with an iron kitten glove. There you go. Hey, Randall, how you going, mate? Are you still home or are you playing in the big store? <laughs> Hey, Ren, 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 do you have any of those in stock, do you know? Hang on. I don't want the ones with the um, uh, scratchy bit on it and I don't want the one that doesn't have the micro adjuster. But that's what I'm after. I'll have to pop down if you have. <coughs> I think the tail stack was stock was pretty good. Oh, it was pretty good there, Tango. There was a couple of mo moments there, especially when I was up there, the head stock. Like, oh, no, and I felt a very, very slight catch, catch of the skew, but it's okay. Well, there you go, Trev. I've got a heap of both of that. Oh, Terry's just come back from a wood trip with Trent and they rang me yesterday. It's got a heap of gidge. Oh, yes. Mm. I don't know, Trevor, I reckon if you start out with a skew and you master it, I, I had, uh, well, as you, many of you know, Theo over here the other day, and we were just talking about this, that and the other, and I said, mate, do you know it's down to you that I could use a skew? And he sort of, oh, thanks. I said, no, you didn't teach me, but you got me ticked off enough that I went to learn it. And it was three weeks and many, many, many pieces of timber and equally, if not more, Swear words. But now, once you got it, it's good value. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Yeah, well there you go, you see. It's them that makes the rules and them that follows the rules. That's right. No, thanks. These are for the bed and that's I think I've got, I don't know. I might do some um, half turnings on the bed head and then that's it. There's no more turning on the bed. <clears throat> no, it wouldn't do that for him, Theo. I mean, it wouldn't do that for him, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that's what I want to do, Prunella, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not as simple as it sounds and it's definitely not as easy as when you draw it. What lathe are you using there, Randall? That was an old Simtech, Australian Simtech. Don't make them anymore. Stop making them about 1996, I think. Oh, Randall's at home. Good on you. For four weeks. I had to, well, I'll, I'll buy them from the States then, Rendell. Yeah, absolutely. I'm there, T-Bone. Mm 
<laughs> Say it, Brian. Oh. Mate, if you got, just go to Ian with your shirt with Lathe, leave the pulleys, just go to um, either a radiator place or super cheap uh, or a pulley place and they have got a huge range of belts. Just get the belt that fits it. Uh, it might be a bit smaller, which means you just got to bring your tension in a bit, might be a bit longer. So, but what you got to look for is it an A, uh, a D or a B, what sort of belt because some of them, come down in a V, some come down with sides and a hard, a wider base. Just take it along to uh, yeah, radiate the place, mate. They'll have uh, belts hanging up on the wall. Not a drama. Or either that, it might be written on the belt if it's not too gone. G'day, Alan. No, no, I'm not turning on the bed, Ray. Um, what happens when I hit the pillow, I just stay there. I don't turn at all, just... Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> I tell you what, Rendell, start plugging Carpet Tech. Tell Simon I want a kickback. Or at least a discount, for goodness sake. Ah, uh, okay, what are we going to do? This is what I found on the floor. I've been looking for this for ages. And I found, I found it. It was back underneath the compressor. And it's a stand for this box here that I started messing around with at the uh, Brisbane Working With Wood Show last year. G'day, Candace, if you're watching. How are you, my love? So this is Jarrah. That's Jarrah. Zamboinia on it. Got a bit of maple on it. Got ebony on it. Hello, it's like the Johnny Oppers are chasing someone. Can hear the sirens. Woo, 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 woo. This Okay, that's going to be interesting. How come that has turned itself off? It shouldn't have. It should not have turned itself off. Oh, what did I say? Oh, hey, yeah, it was Louise the other day you were talking about. I don't know if you remember, but I, I quickly slapped. Hello, Bob. What are you going to do? You're going to come and say hello? People are interested in you. Nice. He says there's nothing to be had here. When you're going up on the other shed, because there's biscuits up there, there are too. Um, yeah, I just put some glue on there and did a rub joint. Let's see. I'm going to see if we can break it. All right, it's got a bit of a bit of a hump on it. And that's just there was no clamping at all. There you go, that took a fair whack. But the thing I like about it, look where it broke. It broke right on the glue line. You get these new glues, and if you break them, it will rip the timber out. So if I wanted to re-glue that, all I've got to do, I'm not even going to clean it up. Hang on, let me just turn this back on. Uh, we'll go there, go there, go there, go there, go there, that's it. Oh. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. 
Okay. Have you tried that eye glue yet, Louise? Here you go. We'll put a strip down there and a bit on there. Not even gonna, I won't even rub this. I'll just, won't clamp it. We'll just leave it like that. And then we'll see how that holds in a couple of minutes. Obviously that's not ideal, but it'll just show you how good this stuff is. Ah. Uh. All right, so this one we'll put together. Oh, it's so nice to have floor space down there. Oh, I was going to blow it. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, no, stuff it. Oh, I'm going to use the compressor. I love it. Gonna be my new toy for a while yet. Possibly a big one. Take them out of the fridge. Oh! Okay. All right, so that's going to go like that. I might, might number these. Go one, two. Three, four. <laughs> hey, I had a piece of paper. What did I do with it? I throw it in the bin. You're a tiswas, really. Oh, no, no, no. Doesn't matter. We use a bit of wood. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated now with this temperature of the glue. Gonna take a couple of attempts, but we'll see how we go. We'll use the bigger one to start with. See how we go. Oh, 
line all the edges up, give them a coat, slide them along. Give them a coat. Oh, actually, what I could use, I could use the um, Nobex, but I won't. I'll do it this way. Old-fashioned way. Oh, dear. Let's see how we go. Rubber band. Okay, first one. Ah, oh, you rotten thing. No. It fell down. Well, that wasn't in the script. You should see the flies hanging around this glue pot. So he's not only Bob that likes it. Okay. Everyone holding their mouth correctly. There you go. Look at that. See? Whoop. Ah! You rotten thing. Well, I had it, but then it started to fold under itself. So we'll just do it again. Line up. So it's just there. So close. Gotta hold your mouth the right way, that's all. Ah! It, <laughs> the bench dog bit it. And there you have it. There you go. So we just let that sit in the rubber bands for as long as it takes and it's done. Easy peasy. Oh, and this one, there you go. Glued. And it won't come apart. You can pull on that. It won't come apart. If you want to get it apart, you twist it it'll come apart, but by tomorrow, that's going to be nicely glued up. Well, that was a good stream. I enjoyed that. I hope you did. That, that was one of my less pressurised ones. We actually got a lot of stuff done. Oh, and things worked. Things didn't fall or break or anything nasty happened, so it was good. 
Send me an email, Duncan Nuts. Duncan Nuts, I can tell you about those, but I won't do it live. Um. Good night, Tango. You're welcome. Good bottom. Working from home was much better than being at work. Just want to get back home. Yeah, I'm with you. Make stuff. It's the only way. Uh, Quaid, good day, mate. How are you? Welcome to the stream. You're going to email me some high glue tonight. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. It won't get stuck in my CPU, will it? Well, was it very, very similar to this one? Oh, dear, there you go, Alan. You could have knocked this one off. I don't use it. <laughs> no, they're a nice plane. They are. That's, you can tell how long since I've used that one. They do come in left-handed as well, but no, it, it is a good plane. Just got to make a decent shooting board for it, that's all. Um... Uh, Thanks, Jeff. I'm just reading, that's why I'm quiet. <laughs> Good luck with that, Stephen. See you, Andrew. Catch you later on, mate. You be careful she doesn't nick your screen when you're at work. Oh, right, that's it. First sign I'm tired, my legs just went. No, <laughs> not that. Good second-hand ones. I, I happen to have a few good second-hand ones. <clears throat> but, yeah, a lot of the new ones, they look pretty. But this is Duncan. Um, they look pretty, but honestly, they're, they're not that brilliant. And I, I most likely get shot down by it, but I've used both, and that's what I prefer. See you, Randy. All right, everyone else is going to bed, so I think I'll go to lunch. I'm going to smack the coffee machine out. Oh, by the way, yeah, I sent a cheeky email to Nespresso. And I said, how about you bung one of those Nespresso machines my way? And I'll have it on the workbench. And each day in the stream, I'll stop and have a coffee and give you a plug. But I haven't heard back from him yet. So you don't know. But anyway, good stream. Got the post done. Got that stand done for that box. Didn't do any veneering, that's okay. Fix my chair, answered a few questions, had a chat, compressor works, used a nail gun. What a bottler of a day. All right, well, this is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying thanks one and all to in the chat room and those that are lurking on the outskirts, dive in. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and notifications and you'll know when I'm on, which is going to be tomorrow. So remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other, follow the rules.
Exercise restraint and control your emotions. Stay busy, keep your mind occupied. And I look forward to having your company at the workbench, in the workshop, same time tomorrow, within a minute or two, where we'll do it all again, only different. Lee. <laughs> Till then, thank you all. God bless. Good night, good morning, good afternoon. Stay safe. <laughs>